Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and we're here with the finale of the Umbrella Academy. Um, we're finally here, it's been a wild, wild ride um, for over the past few episodes. The ep the last episode was just mind-blowing. Um, we finally, finally, the revelation that we've all been waiting for, for those of you who, like me, you know, were hoping. Um, I've seen a lot of, you know, people theorize that, okay, Reginald was from a different timeline, but I'm glad to see that, you know, this is in fact he's from another planet and they did the whole you know they did the, the men in black reveal right there um not he didn't remove the full bodysuit full human bodysuit but he removed the helm and um you know slaughtered some fools so that that was just a fantastic reveal um just what i've been waiting for um to you know supports my theories somewhat you know as far as Reginald and the planet that he came from, his wife dying, the planet that was dying, and the essence that he re released in the atmosphere, which I think is what formed his way to Earth and why he made his way to Earth. Um, but more questions, of course. Uh, what was he hiding on the dark side of the moon? Um, is that why he sent Luther there? Even though Luther felt as though he sent him there with no purpose. Um, perhaps there was a greater purpose and he had more faith in Luther than Luther realized. Um, and in his death, we are... Perhaps he needs someone to guard it um, because he, you know, he felt as though he couldn't protect it any longer. Um, maybe it's his, you know, his his spacecraft that he traveled here with, you know, um, quite possibly. Um, but uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm really excited to learn more. I don't know whether the siblings will learn that about him. He still seems to be keeping a whole lot of secrets, understandably. Um, he killed the 11 of the Majestic 12, and I understand why he, I understand his distrust for humans. As a human myself, I, you know, I, I get, I think we all get it. Um, but he does need to trust his family, I think. Um, he raised them, and despite his disdain for children, um, he raised them, and they are his, they are his children. So, um, he wasn't a great dad, admittedly, but... He has a second chance to learn from that, so hopefully he, you know, opens up a bit more to them. Um, he gave five whatever advice he could, I guess, on his, you know, time traveling and what he should do. And we've yet to, we haven't seen that come into play as yet. I'm hoping that it does, but um, um, we, that may be for ne for the next season. Maybe that that was just a setup for this one, or maybe the cliffhanger at the end will be what that results in, because his. Encountering with five encountering his older self didn't result in them finding any way back home. The suitcase was destroyed. Um, so they got nothing out of that. They're still stuck here. They're still very much stuck here. Um, the good news is Van is, Van is fine. Didn't cause the end of the world. The world did not end. Thanks to Ben, surprisingly. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised, though. I'm glad to see Ben get his moment to shine here. I'm sad that we won't have him in future episodes because I was, I was really hoping that there'd be a way for him to get his body back. Um, but the only way I see that happening is if they change the timeline to before he actually dies and they somehow manage to save him. And I, I was saying in the very last episode that, you know, um, I sort of compare it to the Justice League animated series and when the Flash died, what happened, um, and comparing Ben being the, the, the heart and, or the soul of the team in the way that Flash was for the Justice League and when the Justice League died, you know, they kind of, sorry, when Flash died, the Justice League lost that and, and they kind of went off path and, and became something different altogether. Um, so I mean, maybe that's that was Ben's role and maybe they need to go and save Ben um, from dying. We still don't know how he died and I, I at least, if, if we're never ever going to see Ben again, I would at least want to know how he died you know but i'm glad he had his moment he got to meet diego and him he's asking vanya for one last hug at that point was just i was i was a tearjerker moment right there um because you know he he hasn't felt anything along in a very long time so that was a fantastic episode I, i'm gonna miss his interaction his banter with with klaus um and i'm, I'm curious to know what he told vanya to tell klaus but I get the feeling, although Klaus has been making a mockery of Ben all this time, that he's going to miss having him there because he now have no one to converse with, you know? Um, I, I do hope 
they, 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 they give us a glimpse of that, you know, um, that white means to not to have lost his brother not once but twice, you know, compared to everyone else. So that would that would definitely be something I'd be interested in seeing. But yeah, this is the finale, guys. Um, I, I have no idea what to expect here on out, but definitely looking forward to it. So let's check it out. This is when Ben died, right? Statue hasn't been put up yet, so I guess it goes there. Pogo! Oh god, no. The world is full of injustice. Not bad, but not the best speech Thankfully, for a funeral. There are powerful forces Reginald. pushing back. Individuals who have the strength to pull together. Unfortunately, none of you are such. <laughs> oh god. Jesus. Reginald, it's a eulogy. Come on. It wasn't anybody's fault. How would you know, Vanya? You weren't even on the mess yet. Uh, come on, Diego. Not the time. Nice going, asshole. What? We were all thinking it. Oh. I, I, I actually thought we'd have seen the kids far earlier this season. So the first thing he did was try to conjure him. Actually, it sounds like like the actor. Listen, man. I need to go back. What? No. Why? You just got to. I know. Did they the light. dub the voices? Nothing. But Klaus was keeping him there, right? Wanted in connection oh, God. with the deaths of several FBI agents inside the federal building at Dealey Plaza. Cuban exile known only as <laughs> <laughs> and that's kind of your fault Diego the FBI yeah you've all messed up on the lookout for this unidentified boy <laughs> oh it's true but I do feel like I'm being <laughs> What is happening? Lock those windows and stay. I'm leaving. What? To go where? To Cease Farm. Something's wrong with Harlan. And I need to help him. Vanya, we need to stick together, okay? Now more than Trust her, okay? Now's the time. I need your help too. The first time in my life, I don't want to do it alone. And you guys need to stick together for more than five minutes. Oh, come on, Diego. Come on. But I'm to team zero. Diego's right. <sighs> for once. We need to make our stand here and now. Spinning up again. Because that always works out, guys. I guess I'll see you when I see you. Even Allison isn't going with her? Come on, Allison, Klaus, one of you. So, so, so. Ah, thank you, Klaus. Gone forever. Isn't it? Yeah, Klaus is being sort of a dick about this. He wanted me to tell you that he was too scared to go to the light. It wasn't you that made him stay. Yeah, class. Oh, okay. Two more. What happened? Well, might as well do some good before you die home. Wasn't a surprise. Where's Luther? And how is he gonna fit in that car? Oh, okay. <laughs> Weather change. All of you, just to get the hell back. Hey, hey, what's wrong? I didn't know who I was, but 
I do know. Who are you? Long story. How does she help him though? Because I'm wondering, if, does she if she takes back what she gave to him, will that kill him because she did revive him? I don't think I don't think the handler is here to play. As the head of the commission, I've decided to eliminate the criminals responsible for the assassination of the former board of directors. You tell them. <laughs> will be killed. It's just, it's a bit hypocritical. Her rage because five killed her parents while she's working with the commission, killing other people as well. Seven of us, two of you. You know you're right. Let's change that. God damn. Problem. <laughs> They're gonna need Vanya for this one. She needs to wrap this up really quickly. These guys are good at dodging bullets. That's all I'm saying. Damn it. They really need to tell us how this thing works. He did bend bullets in the very first episode. But that's a lot. There are just too many of them. The only abilities that can counter that is vinyl. Come on, white violin. I love her suit. I, the pure white. I just want to see it. Nice. Get off my lawn. Mm, handler protected her, so it's not over yet. Don't get comfortable. Handler is still out there. I'm not sure how she protected herself. How are they doing that? Does Lila have powers? Your turn, dear. Ah, she does. I knew there was no way the handler recruited her for no reason. But why would she never have used that until now? Why didn't she ever use it until now? Stop. Great. Someone who wants to kill your brother. Well, that's understandable. Diego can be a lot to handle. Yeah, I was talking about five. Mm -hmm. yeah, we get that. Him too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on, she lost a fight to five, unless she lost that fight on purpose. I heard a rumor. You stopped breathing. Hmm. Okay, so it's not identical powers. She can redirect. This isn't good. Breathe. Breathe, Alice. <laughs> she broke it? How? There's so many hows this episode. Now how long is she able to borrow these abilities for if that's the case? So she's here for Harlan. I, I, I'm guessing in the same way she took Lila. I 
we can do, then she might as well just be one of us. Yeah. Out there, are we surprised? She's one of the other two girls. The ones that Reginald didn't get. So in that fight with Lila and Five, was she actually teleporting? You are going to suffer for what you did. Lady, I got no idea what you're talking about. Morning and the heat. What do you think gave it? Listen, and you, you killed right, too, Lala. Right, come on. Me to kill order. She came on the job, which you've never done. And she hired. She's the one who recruited five. The handler stole you, Lila. Just like her asshole father took all of us. No, it's not the same thing. Yeah, he just paid for you. And you're scared of what you'll do with all that new power. That's why you dragged me to the commission. Because I know what it's like to... I don't know if I can trust Lila. She's a bit too easily manipulated so far. I feel like she's just too far down. She's just going to do whatever the handler tells her to do. Yeah. Ah, what the hell? Got everyone except Lila. Where's Five? Isn't she more powerful than you are with your gun? Then she can only use it against something that's used against her, so maybe not. Hmm. What will be, will be. Seconds is now the time. Oh, who'd have thought? <laughs> the Swede. Is he there to kill them too or just her? Well, that's the second thing that Reginald t told him works somehow. Is disproportionate to the size of your ability. Seconds, not decades. Start small. Seconds. I'm not sure how it would help here. Maybe he figured it out. Maybe that's what he needed. I hope this works. Don't forget about the sweet. You got your revenge, man. I don't think these are the ones you're after. Got the one that was responsible. Who knew? He's a reasonable man. Which is interesting though, because doesn't it mean that Vanya can create she can create people with abilities because he's controlling the weather. Which is completely different from what she's capable of doing. Okay, he's alive. He's okay. That should make Vanya a bit like far more valuable board of directors. to the commission though, or to the handler. Well, the handler's not dead, but I. Um, I mean, could it be what ties Vanya with Reginald's <laughs> wife? Why she wanted Correct. the same violin that his wife liked, and she seemed to have. There seems to be a common theme with similarities between her and his wife. And if that essence that he released was from her, maybe that's Vanya's role here in that she can create these these abilities or people with the abilities. They can't go in. 
Yeah, I think that it's better that they stay here. Tell me again. I'm normal now, Dave. Yeah. I know I'm gonna have to come after us for being mean. I think you got, you, your lives are not gonna be normal, unfortunately. I can't. I see her point. I think everyone in the in the academy is gonna have a terrible time of it. Are you kidding me? I don't know what happened to Rain now. I, I hope the commission cleared things up, but Alson was named as a person of interest for the FBI, so that affects his movement, and so they they can't stay. I should have known I'd find a way to get the last word in. The good news is. I mean, she won't be alive when Vanya goes we back to 2019, this. so the best she can do is visit her, or visit Harlan, maybe. He'd be an old man, I suppose, but... It's changed all of us. New Mexico. His powers aren't completely gone. What are they going to find when they get back home? I don't know. You guys should probably find out what is happening. Pick up a newspaper or something before you start celebrating. I mean, is that still dead? What, 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 what's happening? Why is there a painting of Ben over the mantel, please? Okay. Huh. Dad's not dead, and Ben's not dead, and there's only one photo yeah. there. Yeah, yeah you're right. I'm, I'm just happy that we're home. This is the Sparrow Academy. Hmm. Okay, sinister bed. I like it. <laughs> All right, there we have the finale of the Umbrella Academy. It's been an amazing season. Um, the last episode was fantastic. This even better. Um, yeah, I mean, they succeeded in preventing the end of the world. Okay, they screwed up <laughs> so many other things, but they prevented an end of the world at some point in time. Um, things pretty much worked out the way I expected it to, you know, as far as their relationships in the 60s. I didn't think there was any way Vanya would be able to take, you know, Sisi with her. And not for that reason, but the reason they gave was still a pretty compelling one. Um, you know, she can never ensure that they'll be safe because, like, look at this episode. She went there to help them and she brought the entirety of the commission after her. Um, not intentionally, but her life is going to be constantly filled with danger. That's that's the burden of being born special. I mean, she was she she thought she was normal and she always wanted to be one of the siblings. Unfortunately, that is the burden that comes with being special, you know. Um, so she is she's she she now gets everything, you know. That also means not having a normal life. I guess looking back at it now in Vanya's perspective, normal would be pretty nice right now because normal would ensure that she has a very, at least a, a safe life to some extent. Um, but yeah, Sissy and, and Harlan had to stay back in the 60s. Um, I'm still curious about Harlan though. Um, and I hope somewhere later down the line, uh, one of the thing, one of the, the criticisms I've had for the series so far back in season one, but even more apparent here in season two, is this the, the writer is not highlighting the limitations of the siblings' abilities. You know, um, I, I've, I've, I've now developed a theory around Vanya's ability from watching this episode now. Um, sort of... This episode, yes. And some effects from the last episode as well, but... 
um, they, they do really need to give us some scope as to what the limitations of their abilities are, um, especially those that are, you know, a bit OP, you know, um, Mana being one, Allison being one, um, the others, and, and Klaus as well. Um, the others not so much, but um, uh, Fives, for example, which you've seen him jump several times, right? And one of the things that, um, that made it clear that they do need to distinguish, you know, they do need to put some limitations or, or indicate how their abilities work is in this battle that he had with his own, with, with his self um, in the last episode, with older five. Um, and they were teleporting all over the place, fighting um, all in the blink of an eye while Luther was still, you know, falling to the ground from that kick to the crotch. And then in this episode now, um, in the field while they were there and they were trying to escape a hailstorm of bullets, he tried to jump and then he couldn't. And he said he, he ran out of energy. Um, is that because he was fighting his older self previously and he teleported too many times? But then there have been occasions where we didn't see him teleport several times, like back in season one when he was fighting um, his and Chacha. And he was trying to escape the, the, the store, the clothing store, and he tried to jump and he couldn't. And he had only done it like a handful of times prior to that. So what exactly are the limitations to him actually jumping? Um, uh, and, and the same for Vanya in that, you know, we saw her resurrect Holland, who was already dead. You know, how is she able to do that? Now, my, my theory on that now is um, of all the children, that were created from that essence from Reginald's wife from the other planet or whatever the case may be. Um, she seems to have inherited something, you know, more so than the others from, from their, from their mother than, than anyone else. Um, in that the similarities with her picking up the violin that his wife liked to play and, and her abilities being tied to that, you know, that instrument initially with the first time you see her, go all out with her with her powers and Reginald himself was taken aback of her interest in the violin when she first gave an acid for it even though he was a bit of an ass about it but she seems to share a lot of similarities with that that woman that we saw die and and I do think perhaps the way that that his wife was able to create the essence that gave birth to all these children with abilities I think Vanya is in the same way able to create these these persons and give them powers you know so that is my theory um, as far as Vanya's abilities um, abilities go and, and her future here. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. Um, the um, Back to some of the minor characters first. Um, Ray, uh, one of my favorite characters this entire season. Um, Sissy uh, and Harlan, of course, are up there, but it's definitely Ray and, and uh, Elliot, you know? Um, Elliot, who unfortunately died, died gruesomely. Um, at the hands of the Swedes, who the eldest brother, I'm assuming, I think he's the eldest brother, or one of the brothers, got his revenge, and you know, he surprised me a lot this episode. You know, he surprised me a lot. But um, all, all the the B um, the B characters in this um, this uh, this season were just fantastic, great actors. There were there were there were no bad performances this season, um, none that I could see. Um, um, Herb became one of my absolute favorites. We didn't get him a whole lot for the first half of the season, but then later on, we, we've been getting bits and pieces of him here and there, and he's just been fantastic. So him being the head of the commission now, at least maybe temporarily, but for the moment, um, I absolutely love that idea, and he's he's just comical and and um, he's he's fantastic. Um, but Ray, um, Ray, I'm not sure what happened with Ray now, and I'm glad to see he got that note from, um, you know, from Allison as a farewell. I do worry about his movement though, because she was listed as a person of interest for the FBI um, for involvement in the president's assassination and she was a part of his movement. So I wonder how that may affect him negatively or, you know, future movements after that. We don't know what the world that they return to is like now, but um, I wonder what the repercussions of that are, especially with Harlan, you know, um, we saw a bit at the bit at the end there where he was toying with, um, he was moving a toy in, in the air uh, with his abilities. And it was one of the, what it reminds me of is actually, damn it, what is that, that, that film with Bruce Willis, um, 
and Jason, um, Gordon Levitt, um, ah, what's his name? Yeah, he was playing a younger version of Bruce Willis, where they, there were some time manipulations where they hire persons and they send them back in time to kill, to kill other people and they give them gold as a, um, as their payment or something to that effect. I forget, um, I, f- I forget the name of the movie. Um, but yeah, I'm still trying to remember the name of the movie. But um, in the film itself, there was a, a child that was supposedly caused wreak havoc in the future, and they sent him back to actually assassinate that that um, that kid. And Bruce Willis met up with his his um, his younger self, essentially. But the the whole point of um, the whole concept. Was that there was the, the when he met the child himself he was just learning his abilities much like you see harlan in the car there and um the child was needed required special attention he actually lived on a farm the the, the similarities are just far out there he was actually living on a farm with his mom as well before jason gordon of his character arrives yes looper is the name of the movie looper um loved it fantastic movie if you have not watched it check it out but when he looped back to, and came to assassinate the kid, he found the kid living on a farm with his mother, much like Sissy is here with her son, or initially was with her son. And uh, the mom was very protective of him. She knew of his abilities. Um, she didn't want anyone else to find out. Um, but the concern was who he grew up to become later on in the future. But by sending an assassin to kill him and ruining his entire life and trying to kill his mother, that ended up resulting in him becoming the monster he becomes in the future so that scene there with harlan in the car reminded me a whole lot of looper and how the actions of the past ended up creating this monster later on in the future and i do wonder whether that is going to happen with harlan there and the voiceover in the very end of the episode kind of hinted at that you know what the repercussions of the actions are so i do wonder whether what harlan will become in the future using his abilities because what happens when you have someone like that in that timeline that becomes, you know, depending on how he's raised, he could have become a good person. Um, Sissy seems like she's a good person, so I can imagine, you know, I can only hope that he turns out to be a good person, but we don't know. Um, I mean, in 2019, he will be much older, unless he finds some way to, yeah, who knows, who knows what the extent of his abilities are at this, at this point. So that's, that's a concern. But yeah, um, the all the, all the B characters are fantastic. Um, this season, um, much like season one, I, I you know my ranking has not changed that much. You know, I I, I ranked my favorites from back in season one at the end, in the, at the end of episode ten, and that still remains the same. Um, uh, five is still my number one, um, followed by Vanya, if not tied for Vanya. Um, again, I know a lot of persons didn't absolutely love Vanya's character back in season one. And I'm glad in the last episode, in episode nine, we got to hear Ben's, um, we got Ben's perspective on, on how, you know, the trauma that Vanya has been through has affected her. And I think that's something people fail to realize. It's not something that just goes away because you want it to. It's, you know, and she wants it to end. And when Ben, you know, Ben was speaking to her there, she's like, she, she doesn't deserve to be saved. And remember this is a lifetime of their father putting them through traumatic experiences and her especially telling her that she she's nothing essentially um, so that's not something you're just going to get over but i'm and i think we've moved past that now with the at the end of this season she's found her purpose she's found her family again and i think um there's a whole new threat to deal with in season three so um i, I think they're in a they're in the best position as that they could possibly ask for now my only i'm only saddened that we lost ben as a result of that well lost ben and found ben in the sparrow academy which i, I know nothing about i i've not read the comics i don't know about the sparrow academy i've heard persons or i've read where persons have mentioned it in passing but um that is some school up with the the umbrella academy but i'm not sure how that plays out in the story itself um, so that would be interesting to see uh, i suppose I mean, in this future that they've come back to, is it that they, they don't exist? 
in this timeline or they're not a part he said they're not a part of the umbrella academy so ben is here and i'm guessing the other people behind ben are different individuals they're not the same i'm just wondering whether they're the same characters just you know different or 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 if or are these different persons that were recruited for the spiral academy uh but yeah very interested to see how that plays out reginald was expecting them because again he encountered them before in the past but I mean, why would he take a different approach um, he didn't adopt the same children he adopted different children uh, with the exception of ben i suppose uh, maybe he felt you know looking back at the scene where they had the the eulogy for for ben and he was you know he was just digging into them about how they failed um perhaps um you know having them visit him in the 60s he changed and decided to recruit different children <laughs> that would be that would be outrageous but it, it's something i can see reginald doing um i i i, I mean I, I still think he would have recruited five at least you know um, i still think he would have recruited five uh, but perhaps in an attempt to kind of subvert the events that happened later on he may not have maybe he decided not to um but perhaps them you know having seen how they approached him the first time and they didn't live up to his expectation except maybe five a little bit maybe he decided to recruit different children so that that would be just and he decided to name them the spiral academy instead and and even maybe what happened you know with the majestic 12 maybe that kind of skewered his views so far at that point and he decided to go a different route and who knows maybe this spiral academy judging by ben's demeanor and you know who are these assholes maybe he decided to go up to be a bit more brazen in his approach and and you know sort of like a, a darker version of the justice league that is the justice lords or something like that you know um so that that's that's definitely interesting definitely interesting but it's been a it, it's been wonderful seeing the the just the the journey that all the characters have been on this um, this season um i can't get enough of ben's uh, evil ben aside i'm just going to call him evil ben for the moment but his farewell with vanya last episode was just ph um, phenomenal i loved it um i did say i wanted him to return i wanted to see ben get his body back it's back not the way that i was hoping but it's back it's something um then there is Lila who is still on the run. Um, well, not so much on the run, but she's not a part of the commission. She's not a part of the academy. So I guess she's going to be sort of that, you know, that's that rogue agent that may or may not help them if it aligns with her interests, maybe. Um, she now knows, you know, the handler was responsible for her mom's death, but uh, at the same time, she was still her mom, uh, the person who raised her. And that's, uh, that's, that's always difficult to get over and we, we've seen where the siblings struggle with that um much longer than she has you know they've knew they've known their dad was an asshole their entire life and you know they've not been able to they can't escape it and she just found out her mom did something terrible so it's going to take some time it's going to take some time for her to get past that um but it, i mean it was ironic for her you know chastising five for killing her parents but then she became an assassin herself and she's been killing people she's been killing fools and without you know any regard for their children or grandchildren or siblings or any of their relatives she's just been doing the same thing but it's, it's still unfortunate i i would have hoped that she would have joined them but i didn't think it would have been that easy I, or i thought it would have been too easy if she just up and decided okay i'm gonna join your team now that would have been too easy um Diego, yeah, yeah, every season he loses someone. Yeah, it, it's it's that seems to be Diego's thing. I mean, he lost his mom back in season one. He lost Patch, and here we are again. Oh, he fell in love again. He was betrayed, and then he lost the you know his love who betrayed him. Um, so that's unfortunate. Yeah, it is. On on the flip side, Luther got to kiss Allison. Okay, it finally happened, Luther. I'm happy for you. It's still weird, but good for Luther. Couldn't breathe, but course yeah um curious to know what that ability is though um 
I'm glad that she was one of the children that weren't adopted. I, I, I suspected it when they revealed her origin and, you know, the hand they're taking her and raising her and training her. But then the following episode, or I think it was the same episode, um, she didn't use the ability in Fighting Five, or at least I thought she didn't at the time. But now looking back at it, it wasn't the handler that was freezing time. It may have been her um, copying Five's abilities um, without his realizing it. At the time, we I thought um, the handler was the one stopping time because she's done that before. But that was a good misdirect right there. That was a great misdirect. Um, so, but so at the time I thought, okay, maybe not. But she is. She's one of the children. Um, and her ability is to copy others' abilities, I suppose. Um, but it was still a bit weird when she did it to Allison because she didn't see I heard a rumor. Allison said I heard a rumor. And then she said you couldn't breathe. Um, if she's copying her abilities, I always thought Allison had to say a key word, which is I heard a rumor. But she did it to Allison without having said the word herself. So is it that the, the, the person with the abilities doesn't need to say the word? doesn't need to say the key word the key word just needs to be said and the target needs to hear it because Allison said it so it, and, and it comes back to my point earlier on about how the writers need to determine you know they need to determine how exactly the character's abilities work they need to you know make tell us what the scope of the abilities are and, and it, it avoids some confusion when, when you're watching the series and it doesn't take you out of it um, because I was wondering okay how how is she doing all of this she didn't see I heard a rumor, so how was she able to trigger Allison? But she did it anyway. Um, and if Allison doesn't need to say, I heard a rumor, if that is the case, why does she keep saying, I heard a rumor, if she can just say the word? Um, or is that just for the audience's benefit so we know when she's about to use her powers? Um, not sure, but I, um, um, it was still fantastic to see. Um, but can she just copy anyone's abilities, I guess? I think someone had said... You know, she can't copy everyone's ability. She can't copy more than one ability at once. But then Allison said, are we sure or can't she or something like that? We didn't see her use anyone else's um, simultaneously. So I guess for the moment, we can assume she's limited to just use, copying one. Um, one of was a big one. That's, that's, that's a huge copy right there. That's, that's huge. Um, and I suppose fives. But there's still some question as to how it works because, I mean, even with Allison's, going back to Allison's, is, is, is it that she has to see it happen um, or the person has to visibly activate it or how does that work? Because Allison's doesn't give any indication that it's being used. Again, unless she says, I heard a rumor. But then Lala didn't say, I heard a rumor. So it's... Mm -mm. Hopefully they, they give us a bit of, bit more of a breakdown as to how the powers work there. It does it's explained she used it on Luther and she was able to outmatch him, but if she copies Luther's strength, then that should mean that she's on equal strength with Luther. I don't know how she was tossing Luther out of a barn. So they, they should have at least been on equal grounds and it, it would have come down to their combat skills, but we didn't see that. She overpowered Luther and threw him out. And and then when she fought five as well, she was able to better use his abilities than he was able to, which I thought was a bit on that was a bit unusual. Um, she just borrowed his abilities. I, I don't think there's any way she should be able to operate. You know, she should be able to pilot his powers better than he actually can. And she was able to fake him out several times and get the upper hand. But um, so uh, yeah, it's, it's just a few. A few nitpicks, I suppose, here and there, that I, I suppose, where the powers are concerned that I think I would love for them to just address so that we know what the abilities are. Um, speaking of abilities, though, I, I do want to see Ben's powers, you know, fully grown. I don't think we've gotten that in his full control. We've seen him use it through Klaus, but that was just temporary. Um, is he, is he only able to do it with one animal or can he do it with several or whatever it is, the tentacles are that he uses. Um, we only got to see him use it as a kid and we never got to see it in its, com you know, it's in, in its entirety. He did it behind closed doors and then when it's close, it was just lights and stuff. Um, we didn't get to actually see him transform. And we still don't know how he died. 
which I, I, I definitely want to see. So, um, I, it was still, you know, I, it was still a fantastic, um, it's still a creative way of doing it. You know, it's still a very creative way of doing it. Um, and now we wonder where, we're left to wonder where Lala, where she would have gone. She has a briefcase. Um, so I guess that means she can travel anywhere she wants. But she can either stay in the 60s or go to a different timeline, I suppose. But is the briefcase like limitless, um, give you limitless traveling? or and, and can't the commission disable it from their location or whatever the case might be? No, I'm not sure. Not sure. Um, so still a lot of questions um, surrounding the entirety of the commission. The, the entire team that Vanya wiped out at, in, in this episode, were they dead um, or were they just unconscious? If they were just unconscious, um, I suppose, because if, they, if they're dead and the commission, like, they need a lot more resources because they just lost their entire team. Um, but I'm, I'm, still, I'm still sold on the idea that somehow Five is responsible for forming the commission. Uh, this episode and the last episode sort of raised some questions as to what, what Reginald's involvement actually is. And I suppose that means there is a possibility that he's the one that created it. Maybe the Majestic Club didn't work out and he decided, okay, this was necessary. But how did they create, how did the commission come to be? We now know Reginald has been giving, you know, humanity, new technology and all that stuff. But... What is his involvement with the commission? Um, I still want to know that. So I'm. Um, I mean, I'm still. I'm still. I'm. I'm still holding on to my theory that that five somehow, some version of five somehow started the commission. Who knows? Maybe he emerged into the water, and instead of instead of emerging as an acorn, he emerged as a fish, and maybe he's actually aging. Who knows? Who knows? Um, but. I don't think this is the last you've seen of the commission. They are now under Herb's leadership. Um, I mean, they maintain their order now or their objective, which was to maintain the timeline. But I'm still curious to know how the Umbrella Academy itself fits into, into that plan, right? Herb said a few episodes ago that, you know, Diego's this legendary um, operator or something. Um, and he said the very same thing about the other siblings when he met them. So does our team eventually become a part of the commission? I mean, that's the only, that's the only conclusion I can come to. I suppose after they sort out this mess in the current timeline that they're back in, perhaps, uh, perhaps. More or less for this, um, I mean, for this season, as I said, they, it's been, I think, compared to season one, it was a bit slower paced in terms of getting to, you know, getting to certain key um, key moments in the, in, the actual, in the actual season. Season one did that a bit more. Everything just, five just appeared. And the world end of the world is coming in and Chacha and Hazel came on the scene and then everything just kept moving. This season took a bit longer to actually get into it, but um, it was still um, not not to the extent where it wasn't enjoyable. It was still very much an enjoyable, fun watch. And, and the music this this season was fantastic. Um, as I said before, the, the lead characters were fantastic. The acting was fantastic. Um, and I've, I, I laughed more this, this season than I did in season one. Um, so the humor is on point as it's always been. Um, I'm glad to see Reginald make his appearance at the end because he's, I love the actor and I, and I'm going to, I'm going to guess here. I could be wrong. You know, um, oftentimes watching, you know, series, um, not so much film, but more in, more, more in series, um, you can tell certain characters who are stage actors 
purely based on their performance alone. And I get that feeling from Reginald himself, his delivery, everything about him just, um, just brings something different to the screen. Even though you don't get a whole, he's he's. I mean, he's a character who's dead for most of season one, but whenever you do see him perform, he's just he just steals any any scene that you see him in. His reunion with the family this season was my absolute favorite thing this entire season. Um, but um, he's a, he, you can tell he's a phenomenal actor and I love seeing him act. So I'm glad to see his return at the end here. Um, I'm not sure how, because he they aged him up here again in this at the very end of this episode. But he's just wearing a suit, right? Um, we didn't see his and we didn't see the entirety of his appearance as an alien. Um, I, I guess maybe his suit is somehow organic and you know it's, it, it ages as well it's like watching the Terminator and the, the how he explained how the, the skin over his um, his mechanic mechanical skeleton works um, but yeah I, I absolutely love Reginald I can't wait to see more of him I, I, I'm gonna guess Pogo is still alive here because some of the events would have changed if Reginald is alive I'm guessing Pogo is alive as well um, but yeah Fantastic season, guys! Fantastic season. Um, I, 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 my, I don't know what my predictions will be for season three. They, they've, they've thrown a curveball at me here with Evil Ben. Um, um, I, I don't know. I don't know much about the Spiral Academy. Um, since the Spiral, since the Umbrella Academy doesn't exist here, I can only assume that maybe our team will have to, you know, they're the only remnants of the Umbrella Academy. They'll have to form something of their own, or maybe join the, um, the the commission and maybe that's how they become legends in the commission um they did say that they do need to form a new board of directors i don't see these guys being on the board but uh, maybe working out in the field as operatives um, so that would definitely be interesting but having ben be the body in the, in the next season would be interesting because um i don't see any of the, the i don't see any of them being able to or wanting to take him down i don't see any of them wanting to do that um I don't think the Spiral Academy is evil. I think it's it's perhaps just, um, you know, uh, a more a, a more grave version of the academy itself. You know, these guys have always, although a lot of people still tend to die around them, <laughs> it makes it a bit questionable. My point here, but um, they they do their best not to get people killed. Uh, maybe the Spire Academy is a bit more the rogue than they actually are, and you know they, they get the job done no matter what, which is what Reginald wanted initially. But I don't think they're going to get anywhere without convincing Reginald that he needs to change his ways because his way of doing things, um, while it may be influenced by his seeing humanity at their worst, um, I don't think his way is, is, is the right way, you know. And then the other question is, are we ever going to get, you know, are we ever going to get a version of five that is their age? Um, I, I mentioned it before, I, um, but I raise it again because older five asked the question, you know, um, he asked him for the formula because he said he didn't want to become that runt. Um, so I am wondering if we're ever going to get a version of five where he is age appropriate. And I know the actor is actually not a teenager i think he's like what um 20 or 21 or something like that um he just looks very young and and plays he plays younger and older very well but um it would be interesting and i I absolutely love seeing him on screen i wouldn't want to change him for anything i'm just interested to know whether or not you know they have someone you know on his other siblings age uh, make an appearance much like they did with his older older self so uh that would be that would be interesting um but yeah, guys, um, be sure to post down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this season. Um, what your hopes are um, for the Spiral Academy, what your predictions are for the Spiral Academy um, in the next season. Uh, be sure to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next one.